Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug, and I have something called Pass Gas. Let me tell you about it right now. my channel my name is Doug and this is the first episode of Pass Gas with Doug and what is Pass Gas you might ask and well you may well I talked about it in a recent video PAS stands for pen acquisition syndrome and GAS stands for gear acquisition syndrome it is an affliction from which many suffer we are not alone in this acquisition syndrome just look at guitars shoes bobbleheads it's me. I'm the bobblehead. Yes! The sad, sad list goes on and on. The internet and online shopping places like Amazon and eBay and Etsy and Taobao and Alibaba means we can sit in the comfort of our own dark closeted basements. <laughs> and search online for those objects of our desire. We can order online any hour of the day, night, and in any state of consciousness or inebriation. A friend of mine has gotten absurdly drunk and ordered things on Amazon. She likes to be surprised. 12 vibrators later and she's finally started canceling the orders because it is literally always a vibrator. And we can have our latest, my precious. <sighs> Delivered to our front bushes by our favorite FedEx man, who is gone before the echo of our doorbell fades. You know, I'm moving like an airplane, taking off, and you're like, you know? I know you are out there, and I'm with you, my pen-addicted friends. So I asked myself, Doug, I always call myself Doug. I said to myself, Doug, what can you do to help the afflicted in these days of drying up supplies from our favorite inexpensive supplier, China? And I answered myself, I said, Doug, I always call myself Doug. This is your brains on drugs. Doug, I said, what about virtual fountain pen reviews? I could start a recurring episode of Pass Gas with Doug, where I review fountain pens I really lust after and covet, but I don't own and can't afford and can't acquire. I should showcase a pen I've lusted after, look at the various places I've looked for them on sale, look at photographs, other people's reviews, post other people's reviews of the pens that I can't get, and look at the various places they can be purchased online. And the best video reviews of that grail pen that I can't afford to get. Viewers would be able to comment on where they obtained their drug, uh, I mean pen, and other helpful facts. For my first episode, I've chosen the Moonman M800. Why the Moonman M800, you might ask? Because I love it and I hate it. It pisses me off. I love it because, well, I mean, look at them. What's not to love? It pisses me off because, well, I mean, look at them. Well, look at them. It's a Leonardo Momento Zero, isn't it? Did I ever have a chance of even touching a Leonardo Momento Zero? No. No! So the Moon Man M800 doubly pisses me off. First, it is, what it looks like, an excellent, high-quality reproduction of the Leonardo Momento Zero for a sixth of the price of a Leonardo and it comes with a Bach nib. Second, it is a reproduction of the Italian pen down to the millimeter. That pisses me off too, but so did my Parker Sonnet knockoff until I wrote with it. So I have all kinds of questions about that too. I like the fake Parker a lot and it pisses me off that I do. All right, all right, I apologize. You're really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize unreservedly. Third, Coming in at about $63 Canadian, the Moonman M800 pisses me off because it's at that high-end edge of what I'm willing to pay for a Chinese pen. Part D. I'm pissed off at Moonman because I know what they're doing here. Remember last year, Pen Geeks, when the Moonman M600 came out? It was at that high end of what you'd want to pay for a Chinese pen as well, but it came with a Schmidt nib. So I bid on that pen. 
and a month later they came out with the M600S, which had their own Moonman nib. Now, what pissed me off about that was I paid a lot of money for the Moonman M600 with the Schmidt German nib, and I didn't like the Schmidt German nib. And when the M600S came out, I liked the Moonman nib. And it's basically the same pen. So I got another Moonman nib and I replaced the Schmidt with a Moonman. And I basically took a $60 Chinese pen and made it into a $25 Chinese pen. Uh, but it wrote better. So that pisses me off. Because I know what's going to happen with Moonman. Don't you? The M800 has just come out. And it has a Bach nib. And then in a month or so, maybe two, the M800S will come out. And it will have a Moonman nib and it will sell for $25 to $30. You bastards! <laughs> you vicious, heartless bastards! So, I'm going to virtually adore the M800 from afar, on the internet, from Chris's review. I'm gonna give it a 9.3. And wait, and see if my M800S comes out. In a couple of months. It might, it might not. If it doesn't come out, I'll probably do another episode of Pass Gas with Doug, where I talk about how pissed off I am at Moon Man. You bastard! And finally, part seven. I'm pissed off at Moon Man because they sold me an M8, which I absolutely adored. Beautiful pen. I don't own it anymore, of course, because my wife took a liking to it as well, and so she owns it right now. And then, just the other day, I got my Moonman T1, which I had hesitated buying because I didn't know whether I'd like it or not. It came. I love it. Oh my goodness, this is a nice pen. So I'm pissed off at Moonman for tempting me with these pens and then showing me this just out of reach pen for me. So what? This pissed out, kiss me. And now that I've balked at the M800, the Chinese border is closed and they're unavailable. Ugh. So what do you think, pass addicts? Buy or wait? Or should I save my money for two or three years to save up enough money to buy a Memento Zero, which are currently sold out at US outlets? Tell me in the comment section. I'll listen to you if you're nice to me. Remember, piss me off and it's <laughs> My Little Hero 565 is a really cool pen, but it's nowhere near as cool as the Leonardo, I mean, the Moon Man. M800 is. I just wish Chris didn't give it such a high rating. Just makes me want it all that much more. And you can watch his video right here. That's all the time I have for passing gas today. Pass along your own personal pass gas issues. What do you think I should virtually review next time? Is there something out there that's really intrigued you but ties your guts up in knots when you hover your mouse over the buy now button? Let me know. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember to ring that bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. And that's all she wrote.